36 newton force is applied to an object that remains stationary. How much work is done on the object by the applied force? If you have ever taken a physics course in New Jersey High School, the odds are you've probably heard this guy explain the problem to you. This is Dr. John Ennis, a prestigious teacher at Secaucus High School in New Jersey. Dr. Ennis has been teaching at Secaucus High School for nine years. What kind of motion is this? One dimensional, two dimensional, or three dimensional? Two, dimensional. two right, because it moves in the X and Y plane. Right. Before he became a teacher, he was a reactor officer and communications officer in the Navy. He project managed the construction of the Global Operations Center and ran it afterwards. He was also vice president of Network Operations FiberNet Telecom Group. It's moving what? Left to right, right? How many dimensions is that? One. One, okay. In free time, Dr. Ennis enjoys doing yard work. He enjoys guiding a seed to become a blooming flower, just like he does to his students every day in school. When we asked his students what they thought about him, here's what they said. Dr. Ennis is a great teacher because he always connects problems with physics to the real world, so it makes everything easier to learn and easier to remember and comprehend. And he teaches all the AP classes, so he's with the best of the best in the school. He engages with us too, it's not always a straight physics, even though the questions do sometimes get hard. He's always there to like curve our tests and to give us extra help and to give us like retakes on the tests that we should be getting and then we're getting better scores because he's helping us not only learn the subject but to understand it and use that in real life to apply physics to everything we do. Dr. Ennis is the best teacher ever because he always dumps stuff down for me when it needs to be. So the center, it's got a maximum speed. And then what happens once it crosses the center point to its velocity? It's, it's, yeah, okay, so the velocity keeps changing, right? Dr. Ennis didn't take this job because of the money or because of the other benefits. He did it because he wanted to do something fun.